In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to create an album in Google Photos so that you can have an album with specific photos in it. First, Timmy's going to show you how to create an album in the Google Photos app on a phone or tablet because that's probably where most people will use Google Photos. But after that, Timmy will also show you how to create a folder on the Google Photos website on a computer. So, in the Google Photos app, all you need to do is when you're here like this, tap on library in the menu down here. And now you'll see all your current albums here. So there's all these ones Timmy's created in the past. And to create a new album, you just need to tap this plus button here. And now you'll be creating a new album. So the first thing you'll need to do is give your album a name. So Timmy will tap in here and type a name for it. And now, to add photos to the album, you can choose the Select Photos option here, and then you can select specific photos that you want to add to the album, and of course, you can add additional photos later if you want, or you can choose to select People and Pets, and then, because Google Photos can recognize People and Pets, every photo you have of those specific People and Pets will automatically be added to the album. And whenever you take a new photo of one of these people or pets, it will automatically be added to the album for you. So, Tami will show you how that all works a bit later, because that's really cool. But for now, Tami's just going to create a regular old album by choosing Select Photos. And now, all you need to do is select the photos that you want to add to the album. So, maybe this one, and this one, and this one. And they don't have to all be together, you can scroll down quite a way and choose something like that one and maybe that one. So you can just keep scrolling through all your photos and just tap on the ones you want to select to add them to the album. And then once you're happy with all the ones you've selected and you want to add them all to the album, you can just tap the add button here and now the photos will be added. So now, as you can see, we have our album here with the name of it, and all the photos to me selected are now in here. And if you tap on this back arrow to go out of the album, you'll see the album's been created and it's now sitting here with all your other albums. So now you can come in here into library and tap on it and view the album whenever you like. And if you want to add more photos to the album, there's actually two different ways you could do that. So one of the ways is to come in here where you're viewing the album and then tap add photos. And now you can just add photos just like before. So you can tap on the ones you want to add and then just tap the add button here. And now those photos have been added. Or if the photos are kind of hard to find this way because you took them a long time ago or something like that, and you're just looking at a photo right now that you want to add to your album, you can do it a bit differently. You can go back out of here and back into photos, which is where you'll see all your photos. So when you're in here, you just need to find the photo you want to add to the album. So maybe this one, and then tap on it to open it up and tap on the three dots here. And now tap add to album. And now it'll bring up a list of all your albums here and Timmy's most recent album is this one we just created. So you can just tap on that. And now the photo will be added to the album. And that's all there is to it. You can now go back into library and back into the album. And the photo will be in here. So that's all there is to it if you just select some photos to add to the album the normal way. But if you create a new album like this and give it a different name, and then you tap select people and pets. You'll now get to choose the people you want to be automatically added to the album. So Timmy will choose Timmy. And you can choose more people if you want, but Timmy's just going to go with Timmy. And then tap confirm. And now all photos of Timmy will be added. And if you have a lot of photos, it can take a while for them all to appear. So they probably won't all be here yet, it's just the first few that have loaded 
and the rest will be coming later. But you can go out of this now and all the photos will eventually show up there reasonably soon. And then you'll just have this album of every photo with the, these certain people in it. And if you tap on the back arrow here, you can see it's just like any other album here. And it now has 1032 items in it. So it is building up, adding more and more. And you can just tap on it and view the pictures in it like any other album. But now, whenever you take a new picture of that person or pet, the picture will automatically appear in the album. So that's all there is to creating an album in the Google Photos app on a phone or tablet. But if you're creating an album on the Google Photos website on your computer, the process is slightly different. When you're on the Google Photos website, you need to click on albums in this menu down the side of the screen here. So click on albums. And now just like in the app, you'll see all your albums here. So these are all Timmy's current albums in Google Photos. And to create a new album, you just need to click create album up here. And now you'll be creating your album. So you'll need to give your album a name. So Timmy will just type that here. Timmy's running out of name ideas. And now, just like in the Google Photos app, to add photos to the album, you can choose to select photos, and then you'll be able to select specific photos and add them to the album. And of course, you can add additional photos later if you want, or you can choose select people and pets. And then because Google Photos can recognize people and pets, you can choose specific people and pets you want to be added to the album. And then every photo you have of those people or pets will automatically be added to the album. And whenever you take a new photo of one of these people or pets, it will automatically be added to the album as well. So Tamir will show you how all that works in a minute because it's really cool. But for now, Timmy's just going to create a regular old album by clicking select photos. And now you can just select some photos that you want to add to the album. So maybe this one and this one and this one. So you just click on any photo you want to add to the album and you can keep scrolling down through all your photos and choose them. And then when you're happy with the selection you've made, you can go ahead and click done up here and the photos will be added to the album. And as you can see, here they are. If you selected a lot of photos, it might take a moment for them to all appear. But as you can see, Timmy's photos are all here already and they're all in the album. And now if you click on this back arrow here, you'll see the new album is here with all your other albums. And now whenever you want to view your album, you just need to come to Google Photos and click on albums and come in here and then just click on your album. And now you'll see all the photos that are in it. So that's really cool. And now if you ever want to add additional photos to this album, you can do that in one of two ways. One way is to come into the album like this. So here's the album and then click on this photo with a plus icon here. So click on that. And now you'll be adding more photos just like before. So you can see the ones that are already ticked here. And if you also wanted to add this one and this one and this one, you can just click on them to add them and click done. And now those additional three photos will be added to your album. So that's one way you can do it. Or if you prefer, you can go back out of the album into Google Photos and click on photos to see all your photos. And then when you're looking at a photo, so maybe if you want to add this photo to the album, you can just click on it to open it up really big and then click on the three dots here and now click add to album. And now this pop-up will appear here and you'll see all your recent albums here and the most recent album is the album we just created. So now you can click on that album 
and the one item will be added to the album. So now, if we go out of this and we go into albums and we click on the album, the photo we just added will be in here. So that's all there is to it if you just want to select some photos to add to the album the normal way. But if you do what Tommy talked about before, where you choose specific people and pets, it's a little different. So if we click create album again to create another album, and Tommy might just call this one people and pets example. And now click on people and pets. You'll now be able to choose the people and pets that you want to add to the album. So Timmy might choose Pixel, who is Timmy's cat, and maybe Timmy will also choose Timmy. So now any pictures of Timmy or Pixel will be automatically added to the album. So if you click confirm up here to confirm that, it will take a little while if you have a lot of photos of these people or pets for all the photos to appear. But as you can see, some have already started to appear and within maybe 10 minutes or so, they should all be there. And now, as you can see, we have an album that just has all pictures of Timmy or Pixel. And if you click the back arrow here to go out of that and back to your albums, you'll see it's just like a regular album here with all your other albums. And you can click on it when you want to see the photos inside it. And now, whenever you take a new photo of Timmy or Pixel, it will automatically be added to the album. So that's all there is to creating an album in Google Photos. But if you have any photos in Google Photos with the wrong date on them, you can actually change the date so that all your photos are organized correctly. And Timmy shows you how to do that in this video here.